What's up? My name is Sofia Santos. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are in a new setup. I'm actually inside my room and I'm finally able to film here because I have lighting. <laughs> it has been around a month since I've been sitting here all day to do my online classes. So this is my desk area. It has been hectic ever since but there are some stuff that made my life so much easier and just made the whole experience better and I wanted to share them with you guys. So today we are going to talk about my online school essentials slash must-haves. This video will be divided into two parts. The first half is going to be about the things that is mostly on my desk right now. And the second half is all about my favorite apps and websites. So you can skip ahead if you want to. So as you all probably know, there's only two actual essentials for online classes and that's a gadget, either your phone or your laptop, and a stable internet connection. If you have those two, you're already super, super lucky. There's actually thousands of students out there who don't have the same resources as we all have. And if you guys want to help, I'll put links down below on where you can donate and yeah. So moving on, the other things that I'll be showing with you guys are totally optional. They're just here to help you out a little bit. Starting off with my laptop. This is the Asus Sonic Master and it's actually the cheapest one that I found in stores way back when I bought it. And I feel like it's super, super worth it because it does the job. It allows you to take your online classes, do your projects and all that. So if you want to save and you're looking for a cheap laptop that does the job, if you're not a gamer or you won't do a lot of video editing, this one is perfect already. So with my laptop comes a laptop stand. So wait, lang, kuning ko lang. I know there are a lot of laptop stands online, but if you're looking for a cheaper one and yung mababa lang, this one is perfect. So it comes like this, and then you just connect it in the middle, and then you put your laptop over here. So this one reduces glaring, and it also helps with overheating since there's a space dito sa ilalim. There are other laptop stands out there na medyo mas mataas and mas mahal din siya. Those naman can help with your posture since it props your laptop a little bit higher. So mas nasa eye level mo siya. So hindi mo kailangan hindi mo kailangan yung muko para makita yung nasa screen. Next up, stand din siya, but this time it's for my phone. This is actually one of my favorite things on my desk because it's super, super helpful. So you just put your phone in here, obviously. And it's very good because madali mong makita lahat ng nasa phone mo. And it's also really good for your posture. My favorite thing about this is since meron siyang slit dito sa gitna, you can still use it with a charger. Next up is for my books naman. So this is a book stand. It's pink and it's for Akuma. It's super cute. I got this one from my Nina. Actually, naangkin ko lang to sa kanya. But this one is super useful if you have heavy books that you have to take notes from. I use this one for my planner. So wait, pakita ko sa inyo. I just prop it up like that. And I use this thing just to stop the pages from going around. Speaking of my planner, this is another essential of mine, as you probably already know from my previous videos. So since everything is online, from your lectures to your assignments, I wanted to separate my planning and do it on actual paper. So this one just helps me relax a little bit. So in here, I put my weekly deadlines over here on the side and a daily to-do list right here. So moving on, when it comes to studying, lighting is super important for me because it gives you less strain for your eyes and also it feels so much better when you actually see what you're studying. So with that comes a desk lamp. <laughs> So this is what I've been using for around three years already. Medyo nang hina na siya, but I love this one so much because it's super compact. So if you have a small desk or you have so much stuff on it, this one just sits right there and onti lang yung space na nakukuha niya. But since this one isn't as bright as it used to be before, I actually end up using my ring light for studying. You can actually buy ring lights for around 300 to 400 and up and they're already super useful. Pwede ko siyang gamitin for content and for studying so worth it na siya. The last item that I want to share with you guys is my alarm clock. This one is from Thomson. It's a digital alarm clock that is super, super useful. Mostly because since I'm immune na ako sa alarm ng phone ko, this one comes in handy. It gives off this loud beeping noise. But aside from that, it's also a Bluetooth speaker, a radio, and a nightlight. It's really super handy. I just usually put it on my desk right here. Ayan, nakasaksak lang siya, pero tinanggal ko lang. This one is pretty old because hand-me-down lang siya from my grandfather, but I'm sure you can buy a lot of those from Shopee. I'll try to link cheap ones down below. So moving on to the second half of this video, my favorite apps and websites. So the first one that I want to 
share with you guys is actually my web browser and I know why would you care about that but I actually used Microsoft Edge from using Google Chrome for so long. I love Microsoft Edge so much because it has this feature called collections and it's basically a place for you to organize all of your bookmarks. So if you're tired of having so much tabs and having to click each one to find out where something is, this is the best feature for you. It collects all of that in one place and you can actually put a title on it and my favorite thing is Pwede ka rin maglagay ng notes. So doing research has never been easier. You can also easily send it to OneNote, Word, and Excel. Speaking of OneNote, this is actually where I take my notes. So it's been very useful. It has so many features that makes note-taking fun and easy. But the thing that I like most about it is that it has an app. And you can edit your notes anywhere you are. If naliligo ka, if tinatamad kang tumayo from your bed. And that has been a lifesaver for me. So moving back to my web browser, another thing that I use this for is for grammar. I downloaded an extension. It checks everything that you type out from your Facebook messages to your assignments for any spelling or grammar errors and that comes in really handy especially if you have projects. And now for the creative projects where it requires a lot of designing and all of that, I mainly use Canva and Pinterest. Canva because it has a lot of templates on it and it just makes project making super easy. And the best thing about it is that it also has an app which allows you to make infographs in your bed. And I don't know about you guys, but if katulad ko kayo na tamad, that is the perfect lifesaver. And for creative inspiration naman, I use Pinterest because they have a lot of aesthetic examples for your PowerPoints, for your projects, for paintings, and all of that. And finally, the last thing that I want to share with you guys is called Google Photos. And if you're like me and you're having a lot of data and storage troubles from your phone, Google Photos is a must. So it automatically backs up all of your photos into Google Drive, and then pwede na siyang i-delete sa phone mode. That way, you have more storage but you also still have your photos. If you're from USD or I think other universities as well, offer unlimited storage for Google Drive and please, please take advantage of that. Google Photos also syncs your photos into all of your devices. So if you just log it in on your laptop, you automatically have all your photos from your phone into your laptop. That's also really useful for project making para hindi ka na send ng send sa Gmail and then kailangan mo pang i-download Tito and all of that stuff. And finally, that's it. If you reach until the end of this video, I appreciate you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe learned a little something. If you did, make sure to click thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I make school, lifestyle, and fashion-related videos every week. So make sure you don't miss that and support your girl. And that's everything that I have to say for now. I'll see you guys next time. One, two, three, fuck it.